Hello everyone, welcome back. This is Meghnad. In this module, we talk about what are functions, also called methods, in Java. So this is very important topic and you have to know very clearly about how do we create a function and what is actually main use of writing a function and how to call a function. So all those things we are going to discuss in this module. So let's get started. So I just opened Eclipse IDE. Now to understand functions, what we will do is Let's try to have a requirement like, I want to find factorial of a number. Now, what is factorial? So now, factorial of a number is, let's take four. Factorial of four is one into two into three into four. So you just need to multiply the sequence of numbers. Let's take for four. So it is one into two into three into four. So we've already seen this in one of the previous module, how to find factorial of a number. So uh, when we have seen example for a for loop, we have learned it. Now let's try to, let me write the code here. So I want int yan is equal to four. And I want to print the factorial of this. So what we have written, so we have written here, comma fact is equal to one. And uh, we know we need some value i for looping. So what we have to do here, so this is for storing the result, right? So what we have done here for i is equal to one, i less than or equal to up to yan i plus plus and i want to write fact is equal to fact star i and that's it so first time fact will store one into one it is which is one and then i value becomes two one into two it will store two i value becomes three two into three six i value becomes four six into four twenty four so fact will be twenty four now and we just need to write sysvo control space and i'll write here so fact factorial is equal to factorial of four is equal to, I just need to write here plus fact. Now let's run the code. Let's see whether we get the value as 24. Let's run the code. Now I got the answer factorial of four is 24. Now what if my, I have a requirement saying I want to find factorial of four and also I want to find factorial of five. So in that case, what I have to do is I have to declare another variable int int. Let me mark this as n1 or int n1 is equal to six. I want to find factorial of six. Fact one is equal to six. Comma i we can reuse the same variable. So I declared one more variable n1 is equal to six. Fact one is equal to sorry fact one equal to one. Same same step I'm writing here, but now I want to find six factorial. So what I'll write here I'll write one more for loop for i is equal to one, i less than or equal to n one, i plus plus, and then I'll write fact is equal, fact one is equal to fact one star i. So now I'm writing another for loop, and this time this fact is for the four factorial, and this fact one is for six factorial. So it loop, this loop will loop six times, and it will store six factorial, and now I can print like this. So let me copy this and paste it and factorial of six is fact one. Now let's run the code now. Let's see if it, if it prints the answer. Now I can see factorial of four is this, factorial of six is this. Now what if I have another requirement to find factorial of eight? Now I got another requirement to find factorial of eight. So now what I'll do here, I have to write once again and I'll write here n2 this time is equal to eight and fact two is equal to one. Now I'll write one more for loop, control C. I'll write here one more for loop and this will loop up to N2 and fact two is equal to fact two star I. And this time I'm going to print this factorial of eight is equal to fact two. Now let's run the code. Let's see whether it will execute it or not. Let's run the code, click okay. Now you can see I'm seeing the factorial of four, six and eight. Now what is happening in this case is I'm writing the same for loop multiple times. So same logic I'm repeating it, duplicate code I'm writing it. Only thing is the value of n is changing here. Here it's n, here it's n1, here it's n2, but almost the same code I'm writing three times. So, so what is the use of function is if you see something written in code, you can create it as a separate code block and that separate code block can be called with any variable and you don't have to write the duplicate code. What does that mean? 
let's try to understand. So remember in the first definition we learned in the first class, so what did we learn? A package is group of classes, a class is group of methods. Now here we have a class and in this case this is called a method. So we have main method and I can collapse this. You can see there is only one method right now. So this class lesson is having lesson 23 is having only one method now. So what I can do here, I can write one more method. So what I can write here. So how do we write a method is just write public static. Now I have to write here. So let me expand it. So let me write here. So I have to write here public static and my method will return integer because it calculates int factorial and it takes one value n. So now see here, this is called return type. This is called parameter. I repeat. So don't worry about public static for now. So just write public static. Don't worry about public static for now. Integer is the return type of the method and this one is a parameter. See when someone asks you, can you find factorial of a number? So what you'll do this, let's assume this is you. Now someone has asked you to find factorial of a number. So what you'll do, you'll take the number four and what you'll return, you'll return 24. Similarly, what is this function? This function takes integer and this function returns an integer. So, so this function is taking number four, this is called parameter. And once it calculates, this returns the integer. So that's why this function parameter and return type. Now what I'll write here, I'll be writing here int i comma fact is equal to one. For i is equal to one, i less than or equal to n, i plus plus, and fact is equal to fact star i. Now this function will take here, let's take it's taking four here, n value is four, it'll come here, it'll loop through till four, and this fact value is how much? Now it's 24. Now I have to return this fact. So I have to write return fact. Now remember what this function is doing. It is taking any n value. If you send four here, it loop four times, it'll return 24. And if you send n value as five, it'll loop through, it'll loop five times, it'll return 720. So based on the value that you send here, it'll loop that many times and it'll return the factorial of that number. So, so this is called a function, remember? This is called a function. This is called function name. This is called function return type. This is called function parameter. And this is called function body. I repeat once again, function definition, function body, function return type, function parameter, function name. Okay, now, now what we have to do is, now you don't have to write three for loops now because we created a function. First time we call this with four. Next time we call this with six. Next time we call this with eight. So it'll calculate the respective uh, factorial and it will return. So I don't have to write these many for loops. Delete. Now let me delete this. Now here, what I can do here, I need to call the function. What is the function name? Factorial is the function name. Just call factorial and here send the value as n. Now again here call factorial and this time you're sending n1. And see guys, here when you mention n and here when you mention n and n1, you're not going to send this n here, you're going to send the value of this n. So so that's why you can put anything here, z, here also you can put z. So here only value goes here, not n, value goes there. So here I'll write factorial n2. So now see here, we removed three variables and here also you don't need this, you don't need this. See here how simplified the code has become now. So let me delete all this and, and let me delete all this. See now, so three for loops were there before and we only have one for loop now because of this function. And first time what happens now, it, this function is called with n value four. So now first time four will come here. And after calculating four factorial, this value will be returned 
for this color this value will be written here so here it will print 24 so now let's run the code now let's see how it works let's run the code click OK now you can see it's printing the same thing but this time we only have one for loop that's the benefit of a, a function now one last time this is called function definition this is called function name function parameter function return type function body and here this is called function call and what is the benefit of a function redundant code will be removed redundant code will be removed and that means duplicate code will be removed and you can call a function any number of times here we are calling this function three times okay so I hope you are clear with now if someone asks you how many methods this class is having this class is having now two methods one is main method one is factorial method okay so I hope you are clear with how to what is the benefits of function and how to create a function and different terminologies like parameters return type body definition and function call is very clear so thank you for watching and see you in the next module